This is the new Infinix Note 11 Pro, the successor to the 4 months old Note 10 Pro. It's a very good upgrade that comes with a clean value for money chipset. We have a 64 megapixel ultra night camera lens, 30 times zoom telescope lens, a screen that refreshes at 120Hz and sports the gaming processor Helio G96. This phone is a decent upgrade over its predecessors and in this video guys I will be unboxing the new Infinix Note 11 Pro. Please watch the video to the end and share your thoughts with me. Yes. And if you're new to my channel, please click on that subscribe button. When you open the box, first you have the smartphone with the key specs labeled. Next you have the X Club $1 bill, a screen protector film, and then you have the glass screen protector. A transparent TPU case, a 33 watt fast charger with the orange theme, USB type C cable, and then the earphone. This phone is priced at 140,000 naira. It doesn't look flashy, but it has a modern and premium design, particularly the camera island. It is a real ISO. The first thing you will notice when you pick up the new Infinix Note 11 Pro. I'm super impressed about this device, especially the design. Well done, Infinix. Except that you omitted an AMOLED display here on this device. Okay, before we get to that part, let's talk about the external features of this phone. Underneath you have a stereo speaker, a USB Type-C for charging, a microphone that cancels noise and a 3.5 mm audio jack and on the right you get the volume up and down rocker the power button that is also the fingerprint unlock and then on the left is the tray for dual sims and micro sd card this phone weighs 209 grams largely because of its size and the battery of course it's a note it is made of solid plastic with a matte finish and provides plenty of grip i don't think it is a one hand device for someone like me who has short fingers I have the Mithril grey color option with frames that looks like metal, but it is made of plastic, resistant to scratch and smudges. But if you don't feel careful enough, you can use the included TPU case for protection and also the included glass screen protector. So let's see how it fits. So instead of having oily stains on the device, this TPU case does all the work when you put it on. The side fingerprint is very fast and reliable. I love how responsive the fingerprint unlock works and that's a plus for the Infinix Note 11 Pro. On the front you have a glass screen protection and a display that refreshes at 120 or 60 Hz. The display of this phone is massive, I call it a huge display on a budget. Though it is not AMOLED display but it does not disappoint. It is a 6.95 inches IPS LCD panel with 20.5 is to 9 aspect ratio and has a total 417 nits of brightness. This phone's display is really sweet. You have deep blacks and you can easily spell out every color in this video. The color accuracy is okay and you can enjoy a cinematic display on the Infinix Note 11 Pro. The 120Hz screen refresh is an upgrade over the Note 10 Pro and it responds smoothly and even faster. The bezels are quite noticeable and you also have a point show cutout for its selfie camera. When it comes to the sound quality, this phone has stereo speakers underneath with decent sound quality. Infinix included the DTS sound here, making it sound very good and acceptable. So what do you think of the sound quality? For me loudness and response is decent overall. Infinix has its own XOS Android skin. The Infinix Note 11 Pro comes with the XOS 10 on top of Android version 11 with a newly improved notification user interface, just like you have in the Techno Common 18 Premiere. You slide from the top right, you have the control center, and then from the left shows you the notification shed. For performance, it comes with an 8 gigs of RAM and it works smoothly without hiccups or lags. Thanks to the new XOS 10, there are no Bluetooth this time. That means you don't get to see annoying ads popping up on the display while you're connected. But some of the pre-installed apps might be considered as Bluetooth. Yes. But the good news is you can uninstall them and you're free. The Helio G96 chipset here gives you a smooth gaming experience and also helps in power saving to extend battery life. You have a 5000 mAh battery life on the Infinix Note 11 Pro and it will not drain out fast while you're gaming with this device. And that's a very good addition to the Infinix Note 11 Pro. So maybe henceforth, 
The note series are going to be the gaming series of Infinix. Take note, Infinix. This phone supports fast charging with the included 33W fast charger. In the camera side, you have a triple camera setup. You have a 64 megapixel main camera lens, a 13 megapixel telephoto with autofocus, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. This phone's camera combination produces a very good and fine images with decent amount of details. The colors are true, and I love the decency in its production. In video recording, you can shoot 2K 30 frames and also 1080p. The autofocus is okay, and the colors are punchy. Okay guys, so this is a video recording from the front facing camera of the new Infinix Note 11 Pro. It's a 16 megapixel lens and the picture quality is detailed. Maybe I should make a detailed camera review of this device so you get to know what its camera feels like. What do you think of the picture and the sound quality coming out from this device? Please let me know in the comments below. So this is the Infinix Note 11 Pro. What are your thoughts guys? For me, it's a good budget and mid-range smartphone, and the price shouldn't scare you away. Of course, you have features to justify the price point, and it is a good upgrade. So thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. Okay, would you like to see a detailed camera review of this smartphone? Please let me know in the comments below. Guys, I'll be seeing you in the next one. Peace.